reveal your secrets. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast, a podcast about internet people talking about stuff. I'm the best guy ever, and we're joined today by Munchie Wears Tiny Hats. Don't let my mom know I'm here. I'm sneaking out. I'm. I went to the. the we're in the back of a Barnes and Nobles where they sell the porn. Don't let my mom know, or she'll know that I have carnal sins and that she will <laughs> kick me out of my security home. Yes, excellent. Uh, hypocrite is here. Uh, I haven't eaten in hours, and I have a burger in front of me. And if I make a noise, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, uh, Tom Oliver is joining us. You're not supposed to know I'm here. It's a secret. Jeez. At, oh, well, now the cat's out of the bag. And Monkey Jones. John Tron just put up a new video! <laughs> One week ago. <laughs> Impressive shrieking. Didn't uh, that yeah, guy start the Chartsville riot? <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, let's not fuck around. Today, our topic of discussion is it's 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 apropos that you mentioned Barnes and Noble because we're reviewing The Secret, the world famous book that everyone loves <laughs> that taught the world to uh, to to love again, to feel, to to be a real guy. I thought it was uh, the no. secret, like like ooze and slime coming like out. Like secreting of ooze. <laughs> yes, yes, that that too. It's all of these things. When you said uh, secrete, oh, the first thing I thought of was like secreting anal juices, and I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, oh man. I know, I know. juices are there besides poop. Or <laughs> There's diarrhea. a lot of anal juice you don't know about, Nate. That's oh, one of my man. secrets. No, <laughs> I've got a lot to learn. Well, there no. you go. Okay, you know what? Let's all scrap that. The secret. I forgot topic Hippo of the was episode. eating. Yeah, I was oh, gonna crap. say. <laughs> well, ah, fuck you. This is what you oh, get. Uh, yeah, I'm get fucked, to eating Hippo. fags. Oh, uh, so yeah, we're talking about secrets, everybody. We're talking about secrets. That's the real secret of this episode. And here is the <laughs> Urban Dictionary definition of Excellent. secret. Here it is. <gasps> Can't tell you. Oh, that's it. That's that's the whole thing. Okay, well, here's oh, definition number two: cool. uh, <laughs> information you tell someone when you spelled with just the letter U when you <laughs> want it to become public knowledge by morning. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect because that's every story I have to tell about this topic. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, that is good. I like this. Um, secret: uh, strong enough for a man, made for a woman. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, these are all great. Urban Dictionary, you're killing it today, buddy. <laughs> Urban so Dictionary, the real guys. PCP this would be the main member. success of the PCP, yeah. Yeah, we owe them everything. So, secrets. They are uh, uh, good, uh, they are bad, they are gay across the board. What <laughs> what secrets <laughs> do you, you have, uh, uh, Munchie? Uh, I'm paranoid, just to start out. I am probably, I might be the most paranoid PCP member next to you, Nate. I, I am very hmm, paranoid, hmm. and I know you're- That's a tall order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're more paranoid than I am, but, uh, needless <laughs> to say, I'm, I'm still, whenever I look at someone, I instantly just assume they want to kill me, and therefore I have to assert my dominance and hold, I have to, like, have, like, <laughs> emotional power over them to ensure that they want to talk to me, therefore, that, like, like, it's in their best interest not to kill me. You know, I know just you know how I'm you saying? feel. Yeah. I don't trust anyone. Mm -hmm. I don't trust anyone at any time, and I need to know that I have leverage over them in some way, even exactly. if it's just social. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, that sounds good, man. You know, I'm uh, with yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I don't really have a lot of secrets per se, but I love just knowledge. I, I have knowledge and uh, smarts and wisdom that I keep inside my brain. And any <laughs> person, and, and and if you were to look inside my brain, you'd be like, ooh, tasty, and you would slip it all up. And Jesus. Get out of here! I would say to you, prying into my brain. Yeah. I don't good. like it when people know things. Even common knowledge. I don't like it when textbooks are out. I don't like it when people are learning. So, so basically, you're like against non-secrets. You think all information should be contained in the yeah. form of secrets, as in no one should have access to it. Yeah, I, okay. I, I'm against education and learning as, as a concept. I, I, I'm, I'm against self-betterment in any sort of way. The, f awesome. the 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 fake news advocate. Uh, yeah. Oh, Munchie you're the Jones. number one champion of fake news in yeah. the world after Hillary Clinton. Of course, <laughs> I, of course. <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Let me get some hand sanitizer. One 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 not secret. I love hand sanitizer. You guys yes. don't have to be my friend to know that. Everyone knows when I get out my dinner of uh, hand sanitizer and I just oh slurp it <laughs> down. 
Okay, good. Uh, does anyone right. else have any any secret story? Mom, I mean, Mumkey, you were implying that you had a yeah. couple stories about secrets. What do you got for us? Well, last episode during the incest discussion, we all mm-hmm. heard the the great tale of how I got cucked by my best friend and his sister, right. and that was supposed to be a big secret that she confessed to me. And made me promise I would not tell anybody. And as Urban Dictionary <laughs> let us all know, <laughs> the next morning was when I pretty much let everybody know. Because because <laughs> here's the thing about secrets. I would like to think that I'm, I'm pretty trustworthy. I, I, I would like to think if somebody gave me a secret, they didn't want me to tell anybody, I would stay true to that. Mm-hmm. However, and I think this is a rule that should apply to everybody. If the secret somebody is confessing to you is something that, like, completely fucks you over. Like, if a girlfriend is telling you, oh, here's a secret, I cheated on you. Yeah. Why in the fuck no, would I be nah. expected not to tell everybody? That's the yeah. front page of Facebook tomorrow morning, my friend. You know, I forget I forget the name of it, but that reminds me of this great episode of The Boondocks where, like, the two... I forget the name of the two white guys who are played by, like, Samuel Jackson and another guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, like casting. It's great. It's great. Uh, but that, like, the episode is about, um, I forget the name of, like, the rule or whatever, but it's about, like, Riley gets, like, his shit stolen by those guys. Like, they're huge assholes. They just take his shit. But, like, no one will talk to the cops. Like, no one's gonna, what's it called? Sn- oh, snitching. No snitching. That, that's sort of the word I'm looking for. Yeah. So it's all about how, like, these guys are, like, terrorizing the neighborhood, and everyone's, like, looking for them because they're just ruining everyone's fucking life. But Riley insists on not being a fucking snitch. And because uh, he, he's like the only one to witness them. And then I believe actually, okay, so they don't do anything necessarily bad to him. But at the end of the episode, uh, so they're, they're just in general ruining the neighborhood, which is, has a minor impact on Riley's life, which kind of sucks. But then at the end of the episode, they just steal his bike and like ride off with it. And he's just like, they just like treat him like a punk bitch and, and totally fuck him over. And then the cops will walk up and they're like, son. Does something happen here? Is there is there anything you'd like to tell us? And you can see him like like tears are fucking leaking out of his eyes. He's like clenching his fist and just screaming at, at the injustice of it all. He's like, Nah, nigga, I ain't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking great. That that non snitching rule is is. And then you see like in the background as you say that to the cops, they're just joyriding on the motorcycle, being like, Yo, this bike is fucking dope, dog. Gonna smash this shit. Gonna fucking wreck that bike, pussy. Yeah, it was a um, great episode. I've wrecked that by pussy every single day of my life, bro. No, <laughs> well, no, I'm curious no to lie, see dude. if you guys agree with this sort of philosophy mm-hmm. of the morality of secrets in that if if the secret you're holding makes your life worse by not confessing it, do you have a right to confess it? If it will improve mm-hmm. the quality of your life by... by I mean, it, it, I guess if, if it comes down to, like, if you break the promise... Uh, mm. What happens to your life? Do people not trust you, or is it just the person that told you the secret doesn't trust you with knowledge? Because like, yeah. you gotta you gotta yeah. weigh the options of what will happen to you. If your life mm-hmm. will become so much better by confessing that it doesn't matter if people think you might not be tw- trustworthy, then of course. Mm-hmm. Like I don't I, I think... don't see the, the yeah. I don't see like the point in having a pride about being trustworthy if your life is shit because of it. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's what, that was Riley's problem, you know? He, he fucked his life over by just being too committed to his ideology there. Um, I, yeah, I think that, uh, I think that the two are kind of discrete factors, but there's a context for everything, and there's, there's a limit to how much you should, like, hold any one position like that. Uh, like, truth is really not always the best policy. If, if yeah. your hoe ass look fat, she don't want to know <laughs> her ass look fat, you know? You just, well, sometimes just, she you, does. You, some, well, it, sometimes d- again, it depends on the context. I you don't know? think like, it's it, a secret that that hoe's ass looks fat. I think she uh, knows well, like, damn well. But but here here's the context. Like if you're going out for a, for a night on the town with your lady, and she says to you like, "Do I look fat?" You say, "No, you look beautiful." You know, you, you can you can say that shit, and that's not that's totally fine. So white light. If she is like in a fitness competition and she's been working and training, and her ass does legitimately look incredibly fat, and she's totally unprepared for the competition, and she's like, "Okay, dude, does my ass look fat?" I need to know for this competition. I don't want to get humiliated up there. If you lie and placate <laughs> her and tell her, like, nah. <laughs> yeah, ex- exactly. And, and then she, uh, well, and her ass does in fact look fat. And like, like that's you sort of fucking her over through lying that way. That's like, see, that's the two different ways to yeah. treat that particular example, you know? Yeah. I, I don't know if it's, mm. I, don't, I don't know if it's wrong per se to mm. ever. Well, okay. okay wrong. I, I, like, it's not like against the law to fucking tell a secret. I guess it's, it's, and it's lying all, and secrets are two bound. different things, incidentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was yeah, going to sure. say. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, but, but, but well, okay, but they're they're, they're kind of linked, yeah. They're they kind are. of the same they're, thing, sort of. They're linked. They're linked. Well, that there's there's uh, secrets sort of like that you keep. The the mm-hmm. secrets that you keep for other people, and then there are secrets that you just know, and that yeah. are you know nobody conf- confided in you. You just know something, and you don't mm-hmm. know whether to to tell anyone. And when you do, they now have your secret, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We all have a secret. It, 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 secret. It, 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 it's like having the the knowledge that you know that Osama bin Laden isn't the leader of the Taliban like everyone wants to pretend that he is but you don't want to tell the government because you know that if they find out the truth that you are actually the leader of the Taliban <laughs> they'll come after you next it's, it's a yeah, certain but, situation like that to that point about how I am the leader of ISIS you know <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like it, it's I do think that those are two discrete factors to, to, to Mumkey's point there like mm-hmm. if you decide that you want to like uh, you know, like, okay, for example, like, the, the common example people bring up for stuff like this is, like, you're a Catholic priest, and, like, a murderer confesses, you know, and then, like, okay, so, like, this guy is a murderer, and let's say he doesn't immediately plan to kill anybody else, but you never know, you know, he's an unstable kind of guy, he's like, I'm sorry, Father, I don't want to do it, et cetera, et cetera, like, uh, first of all, I don't care about religion at all, so mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck about any of their, like, religious oaths, yeah. but in terms of, like, the social standing there, about how these guys, like, come here just to confess, um, like, frankly, the, the whole confession thing to me, I, I guess I'm going on a little bit of a tangent, a tangent, but, like, the confession thing is sort of a way that, like, these guys get to, like, ease the burden of the sins that they've done, and I don't want them to be eased of their burden. I want them to be crushed under the weight of the crimes they've committed because mm-hmm. they deserve it. Yeah. Uh, at least, I, I guess not every single time, but, you know, with, with stuff like this. But in any case, um, yeah, like, if, if the priest decides that it's he really needs to, like, come forward, that, like really does help the world it's like a good thing to do if you're like getting a guy like that off the streets but you are showing that you are willing to like break your oaths of secrecy and shit just a negative consequence in other ways do you think you really gotta weigh it nate Mm -hmm. do you think that there's a delicate balance between justice and secrecy or do you think justice should always be more important than like keeping an oath you know it's it's tough since we live in the real world and not a fantasy world where you can like always expect perfect justice all the time I think sometimes it is appropriate to to conceal things that sometimes, like might help I people think, yeah, if it would I, cause other problems, you know? Like if you if you tell someone that like fuck, I don't know. Like if someone's got amnesia and they used to be a murderer and like they now the like they, they had amnesia, they woke up, they're in a new place and they're just like a new person and they're a really good person or something. Like does it make sense to then like sentence this person for the crimes that they committed before. Like, I know that's a crazy example, but that's the sort of idea. But wouldn't I'm it bring, at. like, peace to the mm-hmm. families? Because now they know who killed their person and, like, all that stuff. Well, that's true. But again, like, you're weighing a family's satisfaction at a man, you know, being locked up versus, like, now there's a guy who, in this one example, who isn't causing any problems, who you're going to lock up because of, you know, a situation that's basically been resolved on his end. No one else is going to be hurt. And, you know, yeah. it kind of well, comes down to the whole idea of, like, I mean, what is you're, the you're assuming that there's going to be no, yeah. like, resurgence of memories or he's not going to I am then that. That's true. go that's off true. and kill again. Like, it's very, I, yeah. like, I mean, you know everything s- about the situation. So yeah, that's by that that's same logic. Right. Like, you just be some murderer exact. who didn't lose his yeah. memory but still decides, you know what? I killed that one guy. I got it out of my system. Yeah. Now I'm just going to be an upstanding gentleman. And, like, for the rest of his life, he never does anything. He goes to prison. Well, hang on. There, okay, there's actually a cool example of this. There was a guy recently who, fuck, what did he do? I don't know. He he had done something and he was sentenced to like I, I think like 20 years or something, uh, maybe maybe less than that. And he, when he was a kid, he, he committed some crime, got sentenced, whatever. And so like, so there's a thing when you get sentenced. If you're on bail, like, you get sent like a note to like bring yourself to jail, like report to jail. Now they don't fucking carry you off unless you know they like have you the whole time. If you've been bailed out, you got to report yourself to jail. Um, like. This guy just didn't go, and then nobody ever came for him because, like, paperwork got <laughs> fucked up. Mm-hmm. So then he spent, like, 40 years, like, constantly terrified that, like, someone was going to uh, come and, and, and nab him because he knew he had done this shit. And he, like, started a family, did all this crazy shit. And the thing is, he really turned his life around and became a great guy. So, like, did he pay the price of, like, um, uh, you know, of committing the crime that he did legitimately commit. I mean, according to the law, no, but in the in the grander scheme of things, the suffering that he went through of, like, living life on the edge all the time and being so afraid of, of fucking anything up and getting his name, like, on in the legal books in that way, that's a punishment in of its own. Talk about a secret, secret life. And, and it, it's funny, he didn't even tell, like, his wife and kids. So, like, later on, when they actually, like, the paperwork did get sorted and they came for him, oh, God. Uh, that was, uh, he was like, uh, honey, there's something I need to tell you. As they <laughs> cart him out the door. In, <laughs> Incidentally, in that case, they let the guy go because, like, it was such a clear case that he had just, 
he had served his sentence basically by making himself a, a real nigga. And what's worse, being in prison or having a family? I think he's paying for his crimes. Yeah. Hmm. You got a ball and chain on you either way. Yeah, you're (laughs) fucked. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Tom, tell me all your secrets. secrets. (laughs) I want the whole shebang. I want them all. All of my secrets. We got all night, baby. (laughs) Um, I don't know. I don't really... Do I have any secrets? If I do, they're so innocuous. I don't even remember what they are. Tell me this, Tom. You never liked My Little Pony. You just did it for that oh. Oculus Rift money, didn't oh, yeah. you, you piece I of actually, shit? I actually have, like, seven Oculus Rifts. I have one for every day of the <laughs> oh my week. God. Yeah, it's, it's fucking great. <laughs> you um, fucking scum. I even have uh, an HTC Vive for the weekends. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, I'm going I'm a fucking balling over here now. He played has anybody us. had an experience where you shared a secret and that person was not trustworthy? Yes. Good question. I don't know if I have. Munchie, what do you got, buddy? Yes. Uh, when I was in fifth grade, there was some sort of a school dance of some sort where all the mm-hmm. little babies would touch their uh, flabby uh, meat against yes. one another and it would be a yes. disgusting display for only the, <laughs> the for only the depraved and twisted to 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 have uh, any sort of you know Ill- illicit mm-hmm. reaction to. Anyway, I went there with my friend Rocky. Rock, Rock, Rocky is like the source of my bemusement for all of my fucking young life. Whenever I hear the name Rocky, I just instantly get like fucking like PDST. That, that's, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I, fucking wanna, I, I just, I just want to jump out a window so I can get away from the, the sound. Uh, anyway. I, I go there and I'm ordering fuck I'm ordering fucking Sprite and Skittles and I'm fucking going I'm going all out I'm fucking I'm going on mm-hmm. a bender bro I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking wake up in a ditch after I'm done at this place <laughs> uh, anyway so I just I just fucking I'm just walking with them and he's like uh, fucking I love Wii Sports I'm like dude I know anyway <laughs> that was the big secret oh no yeah, no. You the beans. <laughs> no no uh, then I I forget what what happens and 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 I was just like dude what if like girls weren't awful. And he oh, was like, no. "Dude, I'm gonna go tell that girl right now that you." Oh, got her. oh no! And then I was like, "What? That doesn't Fucking make any traitor. sense." And he w- he went and did it. And then I was just like, "I don't know who you are." And she was like, "It's okay if you love me. I understand. I'm beautiful." And I was just confused Whoa. and scared. And I ran to the bathroom because I hate women. And I, and, I, and, 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 and and that fucking Chad was just going to fucking ruin my night. <laughs> and I couldn't finish eating my fucking... I accidentally dropped my fucking gummy worms on the floor, so I couldn't finish eating them because they were on the floor. I just wanted to eat my gummy worms and Sprite. I just wanted Dude. to eat what I came to the dance for. I wanted to eat the guys, gummy worms. Did you guys ever have... I think they're called, like, dirt cups or whatever. They're chocolate pudding oh, with Oreo yes. crumble on Fuck the top yes. and those gummy worms in them. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's no secret. Those are the best things ever. <laughs> 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 That's ah, shit. Slam dunk. Yeah, I'll <laughs> you. I'll you for the slam dunk, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. It's, good. It's, it's, Gib. And, and Gib. I forgive him immediately because I had no other. Oh, friends. you did. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Gib, uh, tell me your secret. Okay. Uh, gladly. Uh, okay. I, I, actually, hang on. I just got to take a bite of this this burger. It's been sitting here this whole time. I'm really hungry. Okay. Now is your chance. Yeah, while while your time to speak has come, that's the Ooh. perfect time. <laughs> Take a big fucking bite out of this burger, dude. Okay. Don't worry about us. So my, okay. My go. Is, um, <laughs> one time, I was mm-hmm. and, and I both them. Keep it going. And yeah, excuse, excuse me, but this but, is juicy. Uh, um, and then I put it in your meal. And, and you buried the body there? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Um, I'm sorry, Hippo. I can barely understand you all that anal um, juice in your mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's basically what happened. I couldn't understand him because he has a stupid accent. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, 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 look yeah, at baby. down below. Here he comes, <laughs> Banana Slam, a Congo Bongo Zero. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow, so yeah. yeah, that's my secret. That was a bombshell. I've got a story of the time a friend betrayed me and did not keep a secret. Mm-hmm. Mm. It was third grade. I was eight years old. I had this friend named Hunter, and I lived out in the Awful country. Already. So whenever I went to go stay the night at Hunter's house, I could finally be out in the suburbs, baby. We, we could raise yes. some hell in a place <laughs> where there's actually people, and I'm not just alone in the middle of nowhere. And Hunter has this checkbook of blank checks. I don't know where he got it because he's eight. But we thought, you know what would be funny as hell? What if we filled out one of these checks for a million dollars? And we went to our our friend Will's house, and we put it in his mailbox. 
That would be the funniest thing of all time. <laughs> Dude, and thinking I know, back, bro. I I don't know why we thought it would be funny. Don't I have no idea. No uh -huh. idea. So we do it. And it's this big secret because <laughs> we know, we know for some reason that it's the biggest law in the world. It's some big federal law that you're not allowed to touch anybody's mailbox for any reason unless you're a mailman. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're like, we're like, oh man, what a big secret. Oh man, we, we, we did this big prank. We put a check in his mailbox. We're going to get in so much <laughs> trouble. We're going to get arrested if they find out. <laughs> the next day at school, the next day at school, the the special something teacher she's not like a special ed teacher but she's like a like a guidance kind of bitch i don't like okay. her mm -hmm. she's the type of feminist bitch where she hyphenates her last name so it's like her <laughs> her name dash husband's <sighs> last name disgusting i hate pick it pick a side you yeah, fucking harlot one or the yeah, other yeah. i don't mm -hmm. care if you want to mm -hmm. like empower yourself and just keep your name that's fine i i would prefer that i don't give a shit but mm -hmm. to hyphenate disgusting fuck you and this bitch shows up to the classroom that me and hunter are in and she and she says uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, come here. I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> They're gonna interview us one at a time. That's not good. So she sits <laughs> me down. I'm alone in the room with her, and she says, "Classic." So, uh, w did you and your friend Hunter? W w did you guys uh, do anything yesterday? I'm like, oh, no, no, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and she says, "You know, I, I heard this rumor that uh, y you might have put something in someone's mailbox." And I'm oh, like, uh oh, no. red alert. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I gotta make up some sort of crazy lie. Uh -huh. But at the same time, <laughs> Hunter is also going to be interviewed, and if he yeah, doesn't yeah. have the same crazy lie as me, then we're fucked. We're That's fucked. the classic divide-and-conquer interrogation mm -hmm. technique. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I say, oh, oh, that, that was just a joke. We made up a joke that we did that. We didn't actually do that. It was just a joke. Yes. And she says, oh, <laughs> uh-huh, okay, it was a joke. So she takes me back to the classroom and says... Hey Hunter, can you come with me? And I, oh, no. and I, in front of everybody, there's 20 other kids, two teachers in the room, and I say, Hey Hunter, yeah, she wants to ask us about that joke we told. Remember well that done. joke? Nice. <laughs> I uh, yeah. I, I thought I was super conspicuous about it. Like, hey, mm -hmm. you know that joke? Go tell her about it. <laughs> about five minutes later, uh, Hunter's back, and she calls me out again. Uh oh. Fuck. <laughs> And of course, she, uh, she's more mad that I lied to her than that we put something in someone's mailbox, because as it they turns out, are. we're not in trouble for that. So I don't know why she even called us out in the first place. So that's the time Hunter betrayed me. He couldn't keep the secret, and he didn't know what a joke was. Fuck you, Hunter. I hope you burn in hell. <laughs> what a <laughs> shitty no teacher secret. to just to just interrogate them on the off chance that you can get in trouble from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like, I mean, what was her? What was she actually interrogating you about? Because like she didn't know about. I mean, the, the mailbox thing was. I just, a problem, I just want right? to see if these kids lie to me so I can beat the shit out of them. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, didn't get in trouble for up. the mailbox stuff. Like I, I have no idea what the point of it was. But it was over fifteen, or, or about fifteen years ago. So maybe I'm missing a detail in my memory. Yeah, but okay, I just okay. remember that part. Monkey, I want to know, in your school, did every time a single person, like, can you come to the office, please, did the entire fucking room go, ooh? Oh, of course, and it was me every time. Oh, no. I was in the <laughs> office every other month in elementary school. <laughs> Calm uh, down, I remember one Bart time, if, 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 if we want to tell stories about how we got in trouble in elementary I, school. I, I, I the, definitely do. The first time I got sent to the principal's office was because in when I was five, so this is like kindergarten, Recess is over, and we're all lining up to go back inside, and I don't know what came over me, but for some reason, there's this girl named Lauren who I kind of liked, and uh -oh. I, in front of everybody, I just fucking yell, Hey, Lauren, take off your pants! <laughs> 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 and I have no idea, like, what came wow. over me, why I would even say that. I don't actually want to see you this little girl You were just getting straight to the off. act. You're getting down to business. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> in your instincts, yeah. Next thing I know, I'm in the principal's office, but luckily, this principal was the type of guy who would say, so what'd you do? And then you tell him what you did, and mm -hmm. then he laughs at your story because you're a stupid kid doing stupid shit, and then he says, mm -hmm. don't do it again, and then you go back to class. So at least the mm -hmm. principal was a cool guy. That's good. Uh, my uh, my my elementary school woes are 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 as long as fucking scripture verses. However, <laughs> <laughs> uh, however, one that's uh, somewhat related to this is uh one time I uh, again again with fucking with fucking um um what's his fucking ass bitch ass name? Uh, Rocky, 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 Rocky. Rocky, yeah. Rocky. Uh, I there was a, there was another friend I knew named Sean, and he was like this fucking like weird sort of like like he was kindergarten an audio cop. Engineer. 
Yeah, yeah, he was an audio <laughs> engineer. He 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 was like a fucking he was like a super hall monitor. Instead of like a hall monitor, he was a world monitor. He monitored every <laughs> action that ever existed. <laughs> and, what a uh, hero. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm picturing him as the all seeing eye of Sauron. And yeah, yeah. About the hallways. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but with, with a badge on, and and, and, and a way yeah. to show off the badge, like like even when he was, and even when we got off school, he just put his badge on over his fucking uh, shirt, yeah. just no matter what, yeah. he just be like world and, monitor. And, and whenever I said, <laughs> and then whenever we got into a fight, he would just he would just say, "Dude, look at the badge, bro. Look at the badge. Look at the badge, dude. Look at respect it. Respect it. Yeah, respect uh-huh. the badge. Anyway, <laughs> so um, Rocky just makes up this lie that I, that I've stolen his video game because he's fucking Rocky. Because he's fucking Rocky and get away with anyone because his parents are divorced and everyone has to be sorry for him because his parents are divorced. <laughs> I don't care if your parents are divorced, Rocky. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> me too, dude. It, it, anyway, he makes up a lie because he wants to get me. He wants to get me back because I think I like because I beat him at Wii Sports and he got super fucking pissed that he threw his controller. And as we've established, he loves Wii Sports. <laughs> yeah, he lo- I can't take this kind of embarrassment, right? Yeah. In front of his whole family and clan, he needs to. He needs to redeem himself, so he wants uh-huh. to fuck me over. <laughs> and so and so and so he like he gets Sean to like interrogate me. He's like he, and Sean comes here. He like takes me aside and he's like, dude. I, I heard a rumor. Is it true you're a thief? Is it is Whoa. it true that is it true that you've broken the law? And Those I'm are some like, serious aspersions being yeah, thrown about. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, and and I know I'm innocent, so I just say, "What do you think?" And I spit in his fuck. I like spit on his badge. <laughs> you spit on his badge. Yeah. Fuck your authority, world monitor. <laughs> and, and, and he's God just like he, he he's he's like you're reckless, but I believe you. And he gives <laughs> <me> <laughs> <laughs> what? The <laughs> greatest turn of phrase okay all right all right that's what like that's what like the policeman says at the end of the thrilling action movie yeah. where he's been like intellectually dueling with a with a cold-hearted <laughs> criminal yeah. which is you in this case yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I fuck what was it again what was the line you're reckless but i believe you yes, yes. <laughs> the moment when respect was forged yes. for a lifetime yes we're, okay. we're, we're brothers in arms and so and, and and so what he does is me and rocky are in the same class and, and he's like been like eyeing me like fucking oh fucking look at this fucking guy look at this mm-hmm. fucking guy and and then i walk back and i'm smiling gracious I'm, I'm smiling wisely knowing that my that my superior air like has gotten me out of yet another jam and, <laughs> yeah. and, and 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 then sean fucking like is like rocky we need to talk now and 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 so and so rocky starts losing his fucking shit and is like scared that his lies has been found out so so he walks out and sean and and and, and i hear like i don't know about this during the time but then like i meet up with sean after school and and he just says I told him. I told him that I found out the truth and that he can't hide the truth from the world monitor himself. <laughs> he actually, by the way, he called himself the world monitor. By the way, that wasn't me making. He up. really he, did. He, he called shit. himself the world monitor. Yeah. Wow. You give you give a man a taste of power, and he wants to take it all. He wants control of everything. It's. Mm-hmm. His it, his better his ill nature got a hold of him his his senses. It, 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 anyway, so uh, Rocky was shamed from the entire class, and and, and Sean just said he was untrustworthy. But uh, a- after school, Rocky said, "I don't have anyone play anyone play Wii Sports with me. Can you please come over?" And I was like, "Okay, but I have but, but but I have to have a Smarties. I have to have a Smarties. I, I need mm-hmm. to have one of your Smarties." And he gave me one of their Smarties. Then I played Wii Sports and I beat him again. He yelled at me and told me to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was wow, a good arc. Oh, what a oh, journey. Re- re- real, real quick here. Uh, also, mm-hmm. in, in middle school, I was known for picking people up. That that was like what I did. I was the person who picked people up because I was just so <laughs> I was just so massive and and, and girthy that, sure. I, that I could do whatever I want. Uh, and so and so I would pick people up, and the people like line up like 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 ten people would line up for me to pick them up and just like set them back down. I, I was the main attraction of the fucking playground. Anyway, so this maybe they fucking, actually just wanted a hug. Yeah, maybe. So this stupid ass fucking punk ass crippled motherfucker rolls up in his fucking wheelchair. And <laughs> oh, Jesus. Always yeah. causing problems, the goddamn disabled. Yeah, Fuck dude. off. I okay, fucking all apologize, all right? <laughs> apologize already. Anyway, so he's like, p- p- please, sir, let me get a ride on your arms. I need to know what it's like to feel young again. <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 and so I'm like, you know what? I'll take pity on you, fucking disabled disa- mm-hmm. disabled man. And so I lift him up, and immediately his, like, spine cracks. Like, he, and he, like, loo- oh, like, like, he gets the okay. wind taken out of him. And so I set him down in his wheelchair, and I'm like, this is what you fucking get. And then, and then he rolls off to tell the fucking principal. 
What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Was this yeah, a kid or an actual old man? No, this is a, you know, this is a child. <laughs> What's so the difference between a child <laughs> yeah. who's that weak and an old man? There is yeah, none. Yeah. They're basically the same thing. Okay. Right. Anyway, so I get, in, I get in trouble for him wanting me to pick him up and providing that service for There's him. There's no justice. There's, There's no, no justice. There's no justice. I did what he wanted me to do, and I got fucking... Dude, and, and the worst thing is, I would like, uh, like, like, I, he, like, went to tell the, uh, like, the principal, but it was, like, end of lunchtime, so I just went to class. And then, um... And then, like, I, I, I heard, I was, like, some sort of, like, computer science class or mm-hmm. something to that effect, and I, we were just in a, uh, the computer lab, and I heard people looking around me, and they're just like, did, did you hear so-and-so got the fucking wind beat out? Yeah, I heard someone fucking oh, threw him down the ground. Right. I was like, no, <laughs> it's not true! Down on the ground, you Turn fucking yeah. cripple! <laughs> <laughs> It's not true. I'm a good boy. And then I went to the principal's office, and he was and 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 he like I walked into his office, and he was like looking through the Venetian blinds. Everything was dark, and he was just like he was just like menacing. What did you do? And I and I just like started. I just I was like I provided the service he wanted. I provided the service he wanted. I'm a good guy. I'm a good vendor. I'm a good host. And he was just like it's not good enough, and so he sent me to detention. It was a scared. It was a scary time. That was a big secret, guys. It was a big secret. Good secret. Good secret. Um, When I think of of secrets, a lot of the times I think of gossip. uh, Mm -hmm. Mm Because that's usually like, it's it's never been said, hey, here's a secret, blah, 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 this and that. Like, it's usually like, oh, I heard from one person, a friend of a person, that they're they're going through this. Did you hear this? Yeah, it's it's like, you're not really supposed to bring it up unless you want to be a gossipy person. Right, um, right. I don't know. I, 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 I don't really feel like I have any secrets that I remember holding or, or getting given. Because d- despite being the kid that never said anything and was known for not doing, like, any words out of my mouth, like, nobody <laughs> thought, ah, this guy, this guy I can confide in. I guess nobody had anything to say, or, or at least not to me. And I never had anything I cared to say to anyone else, because it's like... Never, like I'm, I, under any because, because, because a lot of the time, like it's, it's, it's gossip. It's like, why would you mm-hmm. tell someone else about this thing? Because you want to, you want to feel the rush of, of it going behind someone's back, or I guess. And I don't yeah. get that. I don't feel that. So I would never had a secrets. I think and, gossiping kind of gives yeah. people a sense of like empowerment. Like they're, you know, when they're like sharing new information with someone, that's like a gift they get to give out, and they get to is watch the person like give React. them credit for like yeah. you know being the one who shared that something like that anyway uh i would say i i i am the duality of man it personified mm. if if I, if I did if i do say so myself um uh, <laughs> dr munchie and mr hat yeah yeah exactly yeah. uh um i i like am gossipy i think but if you tell me to not say something then i will not like i like i i get off on being loyal if if someone's like don't do this thing i'll be like fuck you i'm not gonna fucking do that i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna take this to the fucking grave i'm gonna fuck uh i'm like that but but if it's like um did you hear that i have fucked a dog before what do you think about that huh i'll be like <laughs> everyone's gonna know about this guy fucking why'd you dog. tell ben's secret <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, yeah i guess you. i guess i i'm i'm gossipy like normal like a normal human level like if somebody is brought up in conversation and it doesn't seem that bad to say hey i heard that they eat shit like you know, <laughs> not that bad. <laughs> not that bad. Like they, they, they're well known for eating shit. I just thought you know you might like to know. I want to be part of this conversation. I got to say yeah. something, but like I don't know. Like I, I, I just don't... like discussing things and like if it, it like I'm gossiping in the sense that like if there's a problem, if there's if like someone's like working through a problem that's like not exa- like it's not like a secret. Like I'm having a fucking a, a clash in my soul. If it's just like yeah, I don't know how to fucking do this thing with this g- guy, whatever. Do 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 do. Then I'll then I'll want to. Just Discuss that and like, like with other people, and like come up with like I want like task force, fucking like police, like how do I get this person to be happy? Kind of like that. If you mm-hmm. Actually, I, oh wait, I I, fi- I figured out why I'm thinking I I I I figured out why I can't think of any secrets. It's because I don't think mm-hmm. of them when I think of a secret. I think of something you want to tell people, and I don't care about anything that I'm told. If if somebody says uh, something to me, I won't ever say it to anyone else really. And if they exp- expressly say, please don't tell anyone. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, of course, and it won't even feel like a secret. It won't feel like I'm, I'm. It's just waiting to be unleashed on people. Like it's not even part of my yeah, brain yeah, anymore. It's just mean. sort of like, oh yeah, I guess I know that. Yeah. Calling something a secret can kind of 
give it a red flag in your memory, and it'll make you kind of want to talk about it. So yeah, mm. sometimes you're better off. It will off. make you want to secrete it from your anus. Hey, <laughs> hippo, I'm hey, trying right to eat over here. <laughs> let's let's discuss uh, in in brief. So we we this has been coming up a couple times. So like. Are we all in agreement that uh, honesty is not always the best policy? Does anyone feel differently from that? I would say Does it's think usually that... the best, but there are times mm-hmm. when you, like, lying I, is just better. I, I like deals and absolutes. I, that, I, like, fair point. I like being honest and being known as someone who just, like, if I say something, I want people to know that that's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, unless I'm obviously doing it in a silly voice and it's a joke. Mm-hmm. But, like... Like I, I I I hate people who who um, hope that you understand something from like like you know like they they want you to to get it without them saying it. I would rather just be a person who says it. You're talking about women. You're talking about women, right? Now. I, yeah. <laughs> That's my secret. I'm I'm gay. In fairness, men do it too. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's not really a secret after the fetish episode. Yeah. Hey. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I want to know what you think. Uh, I, I, I also like being like honest, like known as like, oh, if, if, if I say this, then it's like real. It's like, 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 uh, I, I do like having to not specify like this isn't a joke, by the way. This is a real thing that I truly do believe. But uh, I never believe anything anyone says up to me, almost ever. <laughs> I always have to like, I have to be like, uh, really? Is that really? And then like five, like five t- round more rounds of that, I'll be like, mm, maybe I believe you, possibly. <laughs> so basically, you'll believe things the more times that they're insisted upon by the person, yeah. as long as they don't change the story or crack under the psychological pressure exactly. of your I like, interrogation. I like, to, exactly. I like to believe that everyone exactly. is is uh, real and that everything they say is completely <laughs> true unless otherwise specified, because I... Especially on the internet, thinking any other way is confusing and time-consuming to just think about. Like, oh, are they are they yeah. real? Are they saying that for real? No, they're completely true because they haven't said, by the way, I'm lying yet. Well, you know, I think you have it, to take the opposite approach online. I think you should assume everybody is lying until proven yeah. honest. I, nah, I basically agree it's, with it's that. It's funnier if, if I just think everyone's real. Well, you know, even even not even just online, but in in all aspects of life, I was gonna say that I don't think there's a single person in the world. I mean, it depends what you mean by truth, but like I think that everyone is constantly wearing like different masks and they're presenting themselves differently to different people, and that doesn't, you know, like in in a situation like here recording the PCP, I'm behave a certain way, and then uh, you know, in a different situation, I, I might act differently if I'm with a different crowd or like when I'm at work, you know, when I'm at work, that's me. Is it is it me keeping a secret? That I don't present myself at work the same way I do on here. I think uh, I don't for, know with with things like that. I don't like think, that, so. it's I think like, everybody it, it, it knows com- you have to have a professional attitude when you're at work. I don't think you've. And yeah. I think mm-hmm. everybody you know at work. That's not really them. That's like them mm-hmm. putting on their like serious face. You know. Sure, and I don't know. Yeah, about, the, I, I don't really think there's a moral issue with with no. most secrets, unless there's you know some important thing attached. If, to them if we're talking way. about like masks and shit, I feel yeah. like um, the mask you wear the most often is the true you, but it doesn't really matter too much whether you're true all the time. I don't think like there's if a true if you, you if but, okay. Well, like 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 all of the different masks are you, but like you can only see a couple of them at a time. Mm-hmm. If you want to say as a matter well, of convenience, of like when you like go home, okay, so when you're at work, you're like doing a job, you're, you're interacting with people, that's you acting a certain way. Then when you like, when you get out and you go home and you're just like chilling, like maybe that's the true you. But here's the, here's a question though. If you spend like, let's just say your job is incredibly intense and you spend 16 hours a day at work with your game face on, and then you only spend eight hours a day at home, does that mean the true you is now the work you, based no. on the time, the percentage that's been No, I don't know, I just threw that idea is out it, there. Is it your resting position? Maybe it's your resting position I think it's, that's the it's, true you. If, you. if you have to, if you're at any point, if you're filtering your thought mm-hmm. and act, actions through like what you believe is socially acceptable in that yeah. situation, I don't think that's your true self. Your true self is when like, I'm just gonna do what I want, and I'm not. I'm not worried about consequences or judgments. That's who you really. Yeah, are. but then Can everybody would be a rapist. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. Like, but the fact that I uh, have never. Well, okay, let's not go into me personally, but like people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, secret state. It's on the secret podcast. <laughs> it is. We need that's it. true. We all. I mean, you know, we've all had a desire to like. Ooh, that's a nice piece Rape of candy. Person, It'd be sure yeah. nice to pocket that and just walk out. <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna pay ten dollars for this fucking lollipop or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um. 
Yeah, you if know, they're we charging ten dollars. You have a moral obligation to steal that candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Uh -huh, I would ahead. I would describe your quote unquote true self like this. Imagine mm. a nice roll or ball of slime and gel, and yes. sort of you know. Don't gotta tell me mucus. twice. I, I have <laughs> yeah. mine here before me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Would it be green? Um, it can be whatever whatever color you think most represents your soul. So in in your case, it would be a putrid yellow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. P poss possibly have a blood clots in it and oh, No. no. <laughs> I'm <Real>. eating here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay. So you have that like nice that nice slime layer. Then you mm -hmm. get like like on for every context, it's like a new like cheese grater you have. It has sure. different size holes and like the shape of the holes are different. Sometimes they're really big holes, so a lot of slime gets through, and sometimes a, like only a little bit of slime gets through. And okay. then you, when you grate that slime, the like residue that comes out, the slime that gets out of it, is like the bits of you that are still within your mask. But the like the yeah. mask is the cheese grater. You know what I'm saying? It's right, like there's, I, there's I always so, going to be parts of you. It just depends on each context how much comes out of you, but it all is still you. That oh, makes a lot so, of sense. so, so, so wait, so wait, what if, what if, uh, mind meld, uh, technology was created and you could, <laughs> uh -huh. you could, bl you could, you, you could blow your brains together like digitally and like go <laughs> into each other's consciousness yes. and then you'll be like, I know this guy perfectly truthfully and then you come out and then you're like, Hey, uh, I get it now. I get you. And he, he gets you too. Uh, would that, would that be like knowing the true self? Is that what it means to be gay? That, to have that. a soulmate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, something like that. Yeah, that would be like, that would be like like literally like fucking the slime, bro. You'd get right up in that shit, dude. Mm -hmm. Straight mm -hmm. up. I would you just would like to say that YouTuber yeah. Monkey Jones has definitely <laughs> never worn a mask. That's ever. A. Yeah. Never ever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, he's taken it off so far. It's like so long ago that the pain doesn't even really get to him anymore. No. Yeah. It, it's not even painful at all. Pain without love. Pain can't get enough. Pain. Exactly. But I like it rough. And I'd rather it's feel a, pain than nothing at all. You know, it's interesting I wrote that, that. That's, that's my good. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, I don't know. I, I That, that uh, self-censorship kind of thing. It's not really self-censorship, I guess. It's just the, the stuff. Like, the fact that I'm not saying all kinds of, like, racial expletives. You know, I could. Uh, if I wanted to, I, I could say, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Nate, what you're trying to say is you're a secret racist. We get it. It's fine. That's, uh, Nate, 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 Hillary, Nate, Hillary, Nate, Hillary's Charlotte not there. <laughs> What's Hillary's, that, not, uh, Hillary's not actually there. It's just cardboard. Don't worry. Yeah. You can, you can what? <laughs> That's not true. I don't know what you mean. I don't know. I'm here. I'm here, folks. I just want to announce me and my betrothal to uh, a big fairy tale fan, a uh, creator of Minecraft, uh, founder of, of, of every website in the world, especially uh, Neopets.com. Hillary Clinton is here. Uh, I love her. And, and here she is with a quick message, everyone. Hello, everyone. My name is Hillary Is that Jeff Thu? I love you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she, all right, that's it. She's gone. She's gone. Why am I not 50 points ahead? I don't get Dude, it. Dude, did you guys hear that she just came out with a book and audio book narrated by herself called What Happened? And it's about the election. <laughs> I do it's actually want to read that was, book. Was that? I've listened to that audio book. Is there a question mark at the end of that title? Uh, is sure is she is. asking the question, what happened? Or oh. is it saying, oh, this is what happened? Is it a declaration or a question? We'll have, to, we'll have to look into that. A question Hillary doesn't hilarious. have questions, only answers. I, I have to answers. assume that she's acknowledging all of the reasons why she lost, because it, a lot of it was on her back. Unless, I mean, uh, if she's just blaming Trump the whole time, no, then that's not an honor. You're just going to you're gonna open up the book. There's going to be like tons of blank pages. You're going to halfway through and then in big fucking letters, take up the whole page, patriarchy. And that's what's, it. What's fascinating? <laughs> well, yeah. That, I mean, honestly, I think there's no way that this person will not like she's definitely going to dive into like all the excuses. The world. Like, she's, I, 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 to, like, what's her goal? Is her goal to be like, you know what? It's time to do some self-discovery. You know what? It's time that's to look inside. That's what I would hope for. Uh, that's what I hope for, but I hope no. that the book, trying to... like, chapter one should be called I'm Unlikable, but it's going to be called Patriarchy. Yeah. And, and I like, think if, if she's trying to preserve political capital, then she's going to be the dishonest, you know, continue I, to, to in, say in that my shit. In my head, for some reason, uh, mm -hmm. it is a, is a pink, a bright pink with fluffy uh, pink fluff on the outside and uh -huh. a little pen. And it's just a diary, but with Hillary's face uh, on every page. <laughs> <laughs> and you can write in it. 
and oh. you decide what happened. <laughs> it, 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 it's in the Diary of the Wimpy Kid format, it, but with Hillary instead of fucking Greg. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, that that's that's, that should be your next thing, Monkey. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a Diary of a Losing Candidate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, okay, okay. It, it's not even fair to say that you know, you know, Hillary, it was serious fault because everyone just loved Jill Stein so much. How was she not supposed to get elected? <laughs> uh, you know, she, she was just overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I believe I tried to vote for Jill Stein and failed in doing so. And so <laughs> I believe that's, that was so... my attempt. Should we move uh, on to questions, folks? Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, uh, that was a fun aside. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's if Jeb anyone Bush. Has any further comments, feel it's free to. Jeb Bush, the guy I was thinking of. I was, I was thinking Jeff Thu every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> <I was thinking laughs> Jeff They're the same. Is same person. Jeff, but is his Jeff name is Jeb Bush. Son of Jeb? I thought they were like oh, related. To oh, no. Should, someone should make like like the, the, the chart where it's all fucking yellow and Jeb it's is like Jeb. doing a power pose. Let's <laughs> have that with, with Jeff and the PCP subscribers or something. Like that. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, oh just, I just, love just, Jeff. Ju- just just uh, note here. Tell me all of your secrets, guys. And come PM me. Tell me how many people you've you've touched in such a way. <laughs> Please, As Jeb I touched the nation yeah, during yeah. the 2016 election. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to Twitter to get some questions. Uh, and we've also got some, I think. I in shall the, get uh, some from the day. Wait, wait. What, before, before I do questions, I have a secret. Okay. Uh, sure. one, one time, I touched a girl's hand. and I was No! Well. I touched <laughs> it. And I, I was, it was a prolonged exposure. No! No! Did you ask permission first? Because I'm no, she, afraid I've got, I've got some hand. boys in blue who are going to need to report to your, <laughs> she, uh, your she domicile. She grabbed my hand. She was. Uh, she she was raped a, you then. She, she didn't a, ask yes. for consent. All right. Well, I, 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 she's in jail now. Don't way. worry about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Justice has been. That served. monster is locked up. And that woman's name was Hillary Clinton. That's why she <laughs> oh, wasn't available shit. for. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was all my fault. It's my. It's my fault. Trump won. Well done. M- M- Mozilla Finnegan asks, what is the most powerful BUG in all caps? Sizer. Scissor. Uh, whatever you want a, to call it. A beetle, possibly? Maybe pincer. a... Um... Scissor could devour a pincer oh, in half oh, a guys. fucking... He would just use aerial ace and win. Exactly. Uh, re- recently, I was in France, and in France, they have hornets. The- there was these hornets, no! and they... No. Yeah, but it's-, it's weird. They're sort of like bigger wasps with long, thick l- thighs. Right, that just mm-hmm. dangle down next to them, what but they're the? so stupid. They just hit walls and can't oh, stand on anything. They're actually adorable. Okay, I love, I, I love say. hornets. What I would say to a, to a scary hornet is like, dude, Beedrill isn't even competitive. You got to get the fuck. I'm not intimidated by you. You he don't has, like, have any one good moves. Speed. Have you Maybe seen Mega two. Beedrill though? He's like the coolest motherfucker in all. He of looks I was hard. Yeah. Megas I was are unimpressed. bad. Megas are he, bad. He all looks, of them are he looks horrible. Weird. Beedrill is Gurren Lagoon. Oh Jesus no, Christ! The, the closest to, to Gurren Lagoon is, is without a doubt Scissor. And I like Scissor years before I even saw fucking Gurren Lagoon. Okay, well whatever. Uh, here we go. Question. I got one at Jade Moreau, our old friend. What are y'all's opinion on love songs? Gay. Love songs. What a, uh, what my enigma. favorite one is the George Harrison something. Something in the way she moves. That's a good love song. The rest, you know, are, bad. Only, the rest are bad. If I remember correctly, shit, who was it? Not only is that song uh, great, I believe it was... Charlie Ray Jepsen with Call Me Maybe. Great love song. <laughs> some some world famous... I actually do like that song. Some famous That's love song secret, singer who I can't fucking remember. Oh no! I love song. I love songs. That is. <laughs> uh, uh, Wake uh, uh, me up <laughs> when September ends. That's the the guy from Green Day wrote that because his dad I was really hot and he yeah. That's not him. a love song. It's like about some guy who died. No, Wake it's about, me it's about up. his dad. It's about Wake daddy issues. Wake me up inside. Okay. <laughs> wake me up. Can't wake up inside. Save <laughs> me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wake me up when pedophilia is legal. <laughs> <laughs> and also oh. incest. I love my dad. Uh, Pretty here's good. a question. Here's a question. Nate okay. Never uh, thought of the song. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, it was. It was. Uh, I was just gonna. I can't. I can't think of a good song. But it was. Uh, I was gonna say about uh, Gibbs. Some famous love song singer said that George Harrison's song "Something in the Way She Moves" was the best love song ever written. Oh, uh, Frank Sinatra. I think it was Frank Sinatra. What's new, Pussycat? Whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! That's the greatest What's love song new, of all time. Pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Greg's uh, girlfriend in the PCP Patreon lounge asks, how do you be productive? Stop being a bitch and fucking do it already. True. Jesus Christ. That's true. Yeah, yeah, you gotta you gotta uh, remove uh, obstacles from your life I that have, will impede I have, you doing I have work. I have a, a video uh, watched by Di- I, 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 I watched by me about mm. Dan Harmon um, who was talking about this very thing. How do you be productive? How do you... He said um, that the whole idea of like having deadlines and forcing yourself to do it is okay, it gets the job done, but it's not good for growing yourself at being able to do stuff. So the, the whole... Hmm. It's better to not force deadlines upon yourself, but to just not take anything you do as seriously as you take it, and just make shit and make it bad and go, and sure. go into it, uh, wanting it, like making sure that it's shit. Because otherwise nothing gets made, and that's that's how you do it. Dan Harmon Apparently, has followed that. I Did like that Dan explains Harmon. a few episodes of the latest season of Rick and Morty. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know what Jesus you know. burn. Uh, uh, okay, here's a question. At the Vag Eta asks. <laughs> hey, that's a jest joke. He stole that. That's that, that's true. Uh, there's underscores here. Uh, what part of your everyday routine is the worst? What part of every routine routine is the worst? Uh, for me, it's without a doubt. Routine. It's waking up. Waking up is by far the worst part of my day. Waking hey, up inside. inside. <laughs> it's At, thank the good memes, job, man. guys. I hate getting really? up. I set, I set literally 10 alarms for myself every morning because I cannot no, 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 no. without it. I mean, I mean, I know you have a job, so you have to, but I, 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 would, to. Av- I would advise against... Uh, alarms, because I've I've never ha- I, I've got rid of alarms, and I've learned to just wake up at the right time. It's m- way better. You I feel so much I better. To, I wish I could do that. I can't trust myself though. If I if I could like guarantee that I went to bed by a certain time, I'd try that. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just abusing my body every day that I like am like it's, forced it's to be awake good. by an alarm. It's not good for you. It's not. It's good. it's well, the most it's the most terrible way to begin getting up. When is I to am get free shook from up, my shaken job, up by a loud noise. When I'm free from my fucking uh, wage slave job, uh, patreoncom slash ever, Everybody, let's hit that five thousand dollar per month mark, and I'll be fucking free today. Uh, I I yeah, I'm, I'm hurting myself. Alarms and I'll be, I, I will wake cool. up. At any time I want. It'll be great. Uh, alarms are cool because then you can set your own custom alarm clock sound. And then it, you can, like, go yeah. to your friend at the bar and you can be like, what's your alarm sound? And you just say, my dad's screaming at me. Ha, 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 ha. Look at my scars. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. uh, alarms uh, make you hate whatever the alarm is. I have PTSD for the default alarm sound from my phone. If oh, I ever yeah. hear it again, I will get so upset that I might <laughs> shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> you, are you ever walking around and then you hear someone's phone rings and it's the noise that you use as your alarm yeah. clock? Yes. Oh my god! It's, I, it's gonna. I'm gonna die just thinking about my asshole getting up. got obliterated. H- H- Hippo, that's that's like that's what's like for me. But even worse, because my alarm clock sound is a is a song from Homestuck. So whenever I'm listening no. to discography, I just get that sound. And I just fucking. <laughs> Oh no 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 no! Okay, so you're making a big mistake. You never put a song you actually like as your alarm sound. That's that's you can't do it. It's not um, legal. Can't it, be done. Well, you know, it's all about um, cause and you, effect and duality and, um, and, your and, whole and uh, new universe. age beliefs. Right. That's you know, about. I used to do that. I used to use anime songs as my alarm clocks, but then I start to dislike anime, and I'm like, I can't go down this road. I can't. This is too much of a risk. <laughs> M- I love lady. anime. I'll die. I'll lose all, all identity if I keep this up. <laughs> M- Milady from the PCP Patreon Lounge asked, hmm. would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? You have to pick one. This assumes that I will die in my life. I would... <laughs> That's true. I would much rather know the cause than the date. Yeah, I do yeah, not want to know the date. That, yeah. that fucks you up in all kinds of ways. Mm. It, it, yeah, C- cause, could, cause could happen If I know the time. cause, I can train and be ready. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> to die. Well, uh, assuming <laughs> yeah. that it's it's always ready true. Ready to die. <laughs> it's like I'm yeah, imagining if, if you. I've been ready to like die for years. years. I don't know yeah. what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, but like if you uh-huh. if you hear like the the cause of your death is uh, a train crash, and you're like, yeah. okay, I'm never gonna go on a train again, and then then it's obviously because a train crashes into you. Like right. like you, right. you you can't avoid it, but if you do any planning, it's gonna be in vain. Yeah, Any planning I at all? Yeah, that's wouldn't true. Be too bad, because like, yeah, you'd just be like scared of knives for the rest of your life or whatever. But if I know the date, I know like, okay, well, I have eighty years now to get all these projects done. I guess I better start doing them. Well, you know it, th- that that length of term. I mean, what if you find out it's in? Let's just say like five years. Like, how are you going to choose to spend five years? You know, that's that's a tight um, schedule. You're gonna you're gonna panic, but you're gonna get a lot yeah, of stuff yeah. done, yeah. which true. could be good if I, it I, turns I'm out a... that the guy who was telling you that you're gonna die is mm-hmm. just a crazy man. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah that's yeah, true if i know i have five years i'd rather have five because like either way you're gonna die in five years so at least i can spend those five years being productive rather than it's being true. scared of trains or maybe maybe i would go you could be productive time. and because you, if you, you think be, about it i mean none uh, of us are going to be alive in 2100 so we already know there's like a rough date when oh, none of us are going to be alive well, speak for yourself necessarily. yeah <laughs> all yeah, of us I are planning say. to be alive i'm gonna download myself to the vapor net i'm gonna build i'm gonna build a robot I agree, actually. I actually agree. I'm going to build actually, a you know robot, to and be... the robot is going to uh-huh. is uh, it's gonna it's it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good robot. I'm gonna put my <laughs> okay, brain. Hey. In. I I don't think that consciousness is real, and I think we're basically seeing uh, like individual frames uh, strung together like a film that's constantly playing. So it gives us the illusion of a sense of self uh, and a sense Dude. of like continuity to our consciousness. That is Dude. in fact moment to moment. This is too stupid. Can we go to the next question? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's I, the least stupid matters. thing I've ever said. It's the I have, dumbest I have, thing I've ever have, heard you say. Dude, dude, I have a tangent. Anti intellectual. Tangentially podcast, related. <laughs> To, 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 to what you were saying because uh-huh. I was just thinking I was thinking earlier in the week about like robots being like the literal um, mm-hmm. uh, the, 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 the next evolution of humans not humans with robotic parts but like literal yeah. just robots we make them and they live much longer than we can so they're yeah. literally our children they're going to last so longer than us and they're going to be able to go and do whatever but they're not going yeah. to be like yeah. us Preserve. Right. They're just gonna be new people. Yeah, they're just that's gonna be. So I wanna, I wanna build. I wanna build a mm-hmm. robot daughter, and I'm gonna call her Riska, and she's gonna be unbeatable. <laughs> and she's robot. gonna live forever in the universe, and it's gonna be like, yeah, uh, you know. I, uh, we I, should I, do an episode on transhumanism. That's a great idea. That's a great. Can idea. there be robot pedophilia? <laughs> okay. It, it depends. It depends what you mean. You gotta define your terms. Cause like, can a man look at a at a baby looking robot with lust in his heart and be called a pedophile? I say yes. Can a baby robot, in fact, be the victim of a pedophilic sexual act? I say no. So that's uh, you know. No, because I mean, uh, then they could. If, they if could I just, build they a brand new sex robot and I have to wait eighteen years to fuck it, I say that's bullshit. Exactly. If you if yeah. you got a robot, you could just turn that crank to to make the hole whatever size you want. You know. You, you. <laughs> then they don't even matter. I'm imagining like an old steampunk, like big old crank. You gotta like crank it over the vagina. I'm gonna make that hole as big as a cave, so I can walk inside and I can learn where babies come from. Finally. That makes sense. That makes sense. By the way. What's the name of that? What's the name of that ship? Okay, well, okay, just about the Titanic. The, uh, the French <laughs> ship. Uh, th- there's a there's a name Sisyphin. No, that's not it. Uh, okay, so like if you if you take a ship and it's out sailing and it gets damaged and you repair a piece and you keep doing that as you keep going and eventually every single piece has been replaced by something. So it and is in fact you no may longer. As well have- uh, well, okay, so it's like it's still called like the same thing as it what it was. There's a name for this, but I forget the what Sisyphus. it is. It's, it's not it's, Sisyphus is like the hill that the guy puts the rock up, you know. Oh. That's the Sisyphean thing or whatever. It's got some other name that I can't remember. But the the point I'm getting at is like it's it is Socrates. theoretically possible that a human being can in fact just become a robot in a sense. If like let's say that you take your brain and you replace one piece of it with an artificial piece, and then you okay you live like already that for a little you're while. dead. And the, why? So well, that's the question. Like, at what point do you become a robot? And if there is no clear point where it happens, I at think. the end you could maybe replace every single piece and just then be a robot. Oh, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? What's that? I'm gonna become a robot that is just has a human penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're really the last prioritizing human correctly. real penis. I'll be like, oh, it's a real human penis. Whoa, real? Like that's just <laughs> it doesn't happen anymore. Uh, sign me up. <laughs> And my future Sorry, robot self will have so much fun. <laughs> oh, he'll have such hilarity in his in his future. That oh, sounds great. Christ. Uh, oh, okay. I Any am other Socrates, I like to think really hard. <laughs> That's you sound like me. Oh my god. That's, yeah, yeah, I don't I know, know if we're doing the PCP or day two of Philosophy 101 at my community college. <laughs> I yeah, who knows, man? I don't know. That was related to something <laughs> no. in some way. Yeah, I think. Uh, okay. No, it wasn't. Let's move on. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, here's one. Uh, at Lord Saiba says, if you were with Digi, what unspeakable acts would you do in his big ass room? I take a shit. I would take uh, I would take a shit. That's what I would do. Nate, Nate, oh, did you ever in... piss on Digi's house? Were you while you were there? Did you do that? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. It was a great. Okay, like, so we all pissed on his too. house. Yeah, you know that's awesome. I, and yeah. then we pissed on him, and then we pissed on <laughs> his brothers, and it was yeah. great. Yeah, you know. Don't you dare we mel- take we melted Victor all that in that snow. way, you son of a bitch. Victor is here. <laughs> 
Yeah, I love Vincent. He's my favorite no, it's a, Digi Bros character. No, it's it's okay, Monkey. He he had an umbrella. Oh, thank goodness. Mm-hmm. I don't know how what? you got taller than Victor, but good job. He, he just Wait, has a very powerful letters. stream. It can arc quite high, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's his we, secret power. That's his we, cutie mark. We, yeah. we introduced Victor to challenge pissing, where if you sh- uh, uh, piss six feet straight up in the air and not get wet, you get no down payment in your next car visit. <laughs> <laughs> And, and boy, he where do they host this cover. competition? That's <laughs> the what I want to know. Oh, All look right. it up. There's no more good questions on the on the Twitter. <laughs> wait, Is there anything wait. left in the? Here's uh... an incredible question. Okay. How do I support the PCP and get into a cool fucking Patreon lounge? Says some bitch in the audience. Well, oh, Jesus yeah. Christ! Why don't you good just question. go give us a Patreon dollar Everybody, or two, go... and you can get into a Discord chat? He's he's right, folks. Go to patreon.com slash the procrastinators. Give a dollar and you'll be in the patron exclusive chat club where all of us actually go and hang out and talk. We act we actually hang out there and it's not we're not just in there just to hang it's out. A good place. We it's keep out the, the rabble. Chat, we keep the out the poor sucks. folks. Yes. We keep out the sh- the sheep. The yeah. weak minded people hey, who can't show out. Sheepover is a good person. Sheepover is a good person because she's in that fan chat, I, I think. Or maybe no. she's not. No, no, she's, no. she's a bad she's person. Not. Okay. She's banned, yeah, yeah, like she's all the scum. other sheep. <laughs> she's uh, worthless in every way. Uh, they, yeah, okay. And, <laughs> and you also, can also get yourself uh, some shirts from the links in the description. Go buy PCP merch, people. What are you and also, for? don't forget uh, the $5 patrons get the exclusive monthly bonus PCP Whoa! episode. We're about which to record we, it later today. To should we spoiler what it death is? Death Note versus Death Note. Thank yes, you. Yes, that's what it is, guys. That's It's Death Note v. Death Note. It's, it's the Clash of the Titans. Who could possibly come out on top of these intellectual juggernauts going Nobody head-to-head? has ever made a video comparing the new movie to the anime. We're the first ones to do it. If you want to hear how it goes, go play that's that five dollars, baby. That's what you got to do, folks. J- j- just to wet do. your whistle, just to wet your wet, wet your whistle, audience. Uh, mm-hmm. I have listened to. Uh, I I may have downloaded the wrong file. Uh, I may have torn to the wrong file to listen to this movie, and it may be <laughs> in a foreign language that I do not understand without <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> So uh, if you want to see me try and piece together the plot from just looking at people's mouths move, then uh, head on over <laughs> there. Well, there you go, folks. You you, you, you can't miss it, people. You it's going to be the event of the summer. All right. We're done. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, make sure you tweet us at uh, TP Crassinators and use hashtag AskPCP to get your questions on here or be a member of the Discord where you get exclusive shit where we actually care about who you are as a human yeah. being. And so go listen go. to the Tom and Monkey Suicide Perch. Best podcast Woo! ever made. Oh, no, 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 that's no, right. No, no, that's right. No, no, Too no, no, hot no. for YouTube monetization, everybody. <laughs> yep. That's right. Just Was like it actually demonetized? Video. Uh, well, it got yeah. It's it's not it got uh, it's demonetized. Not fit. Yes, not fit. <laughs> I'm not. Su- I'm not surprised to be honest. Based on the shit. That's we've how you know seeing. we're legit. We're not fucking around. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. We will see you next time. Let everybody say goodbye. Bye. 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 Buy our products. Buy our shirts. Buy our merch. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Uh. I. Supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working right now, but I'm not working. I'm doing nothing. My dick, I'm dreaming.